Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna, are we gonna, you gonna, the I'm not sure why whiskey makes it easier to Charles. read. So, well, um, I'm not sure if anyone is here is not familiar with Dockers. Dockers is a mockumentary podcast uh, that this person on my left, uh, we created four or five years ago, before there was any game to sort of um, draw from, so we just made it up. And um, over the years, it has um, changed slightly. It's kind of like if you ever remember watching those kind of airport television shows where they have uh, the goings on in a, in a busy airport. Well, we, we like to imagine that a, a busy space station would have a fantastic program. So we decided to write it ourselves. Um, and yeah, it's, it certainly has created some uh, interesting versions of characters. Uh, we have got um, a number of people whose names, are, well, <coughs> for legal reasons, have been changed. Um, if you are easily offended, it might be a good time to go to the bar, get a pint and come back. Um, if you're not easily offended, then you're definitely in the right place. And um, I will pass over to Mr. Winner, the writer of tonight's Dockers. And um, I'll thank our cast if we're all here. Now, due to possibly not having all the parts, we will um, attempt to fill the gaps if they come up. Uh, we've lost our, our Richard. Yeah. We, we have no dick. We've lost our Colin Ford. We've lost our Sean. Are we we've lost uh, our number two. So, we're, 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 we're we're short, so yeah, does we're anybody know how to act? So is everyone, uh, everyone in the cast, are you all good? Have you got your scripts? One moment. No, it's not bright enough. Mm -hmm. He's already been for number two. That's what, that's what held us back, so... No, well, no, we're okay. We're good for number two. Um, I did have Giller in, but I don't know where he's come. Okay. Go, yeah, go ahead, do it. Giller, Giller's here. <laughs> what part was uh, Giller playing? Number two, uh, well... No, Sean was doing number two. Sean was doing number two. Oh, He's doing Sean. Sean Pat. Sean, Sean is Willie, who's one of the... Uh, in fact, we should maybe go through the cast we have. Um, yes. We have uh, David Brubin, who is the station commander. Put your hand uh, up if you're that person. Michelle uh, Boots is his long-suffering... Um, assistant. Kind of, assistant. He's kind of a little bit in love with him, uh, I think yeah. that's fair to say. Um, we oh, have. I am. Our custom officers, we have uh, Finger In and uh, Doug Kit Out. We have our customs officer, Jack Sofalot. Uh, we have our two um, station uh, transport controllers, uh, that would be uh, Richard Swallow. Yep. And uh, his best pal, Sean, Sean Iswilly. Uh, Richard's married to May Swallow. And um, when we have some security staff, uh, hands up. No, 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 that's, that's his name. Oh. <laughs> and uh, who is usually flanked by a, a, a great number of number twos. Um, he, and his privates are always on display, so you'll, you'll get to see uh, Hans's privates frequently. Um, who else have we got? And then we've got a whole um, creation. Oh, yeah. What was it, Roger? What's Roger's surname? <laughs> Well, we're not done, man. Where's, where's he, does he? I just lose there. Ah, okay, okay. We did, we did have a name for him, but... And uh, Lou Stools, who's our cleaner. And, of course, tonight... Lou Brush? Lou Brush. Oh, right. Yeah, I'm getting confused with Hutton. Right, um, okay. Well, I think if uh, we should take it away. Um, if you want to set the scene. It's yeah. going to go well. Barnard Star. A low mass, red dwarf star, six light years from Sol. Industrious and home to over 10 million people, Barnard Station is the hub of all the interplanetary trade in the system. <laughs> Traders are constantly exchanging imported goods for the robotics and computers that Barnard Star is famed for throughout the galaxy. That's good stuff! All this activity has to be controlled. Cargo must be scanned, ships must be authorised, and fees and bounties must be paid. These are the duties of the Barnard Star Dockers.
Miller! Miller Depot! Every time I wake up, I want to mug the nearest person to me. It was worse when I first got here. I didn't feel anything. I hardly mugged anyone until I inserted that twenty-gallon mug into Chris Bobberts. All I can think about is getting back to my station. I've been here a week now, waiting for the Federation to give me a ship. Every second I stop throwing mugs at people, I'm getting softer, Michelle. I'm getting mods, Michelle. Mods! What's the fucking point anymore? Chris Bobberts can't even run down his own leg with a shit scene. Never mind fucking station. Are you okay? Your empressness. I think maybe lay off the mega gin for a few days. Bollocks to that, Michelle! It's the only thing that keeps me going. You weren't there! I got probed! Probed! Now I'm the laughing stock of the staff. I need to get out of this place. Well, it was nice of Chris Bobberts to take us all in, and he did give you the office. No, go blaze your own trail, Michelle. Have you seen it? The only thing that works is this fish tank. <sighs> I should have taken the offer up to go to Hot Dobbin, at least I could have got a free anaconda there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that memo was spam. Your royalness. Like that ma massage, I think it says. No message, it says. Like that message they sent. For 700 void opals, we can make you an admiral of the Merc. I offered up 1.6 million credits from station funds for every single fucking one of them. And thousands of smelly mother truckers turned up. Nearly bankrupted the system, that did. Hutton truckers. More like Hutton trawlers. Ah, oh, Michelle. You were saying the Federation has a ship for a mission for about a day ago. Your fantasticness. Yes, well, it's highly confidential, so this goes no further. The Federation are loaning us a hauler. It's not much, but it's all they've got. They've got a supercruise there through Thargoid-infested space and retake the station. In a hauler? Are you crazy, your mugginess? Well, they did say something similar when I accepted their offer, but I refuse to stay in this fucking station any longer. So call the staff... Organize a mugging, um, meeting. I'll do the mugging, uh, talking. They said they're not going anywhere till all the Thargoids are gone from the system. Your unsurpassedness. They've gotten soft, Michelle. No, a good rousing speech from me will get them motivated, rearing to smash mugs on their nuts. Now, I'm going to need a fuck ton of mugs on a survival jumper. May Swallow, the owner of Barnard Star McThargoids, has opened up another franchise, this time inside Miller Depot. To celebrate the official grand opening, she's organized a prize draw. We join Finn Gerin in McThargoids. He's feeling confident because he's purchased nearly every ticket. But quiet, quiet. It's time for the draw. Draw? What draw? You know, the all-inclusive holiday. Uh, the one with McThargoids' special offer. Buy one extra Thick Mac Stiffy and you can win a trip to Disneyland. I put £140 in the last two weeks, but it's been worth it, all these entries. I thought that was just getting a bit bloated. Hang, hang on. Disneyland. Betty, take the window, please. No, I meant serve the customers. Oh, too late. Right. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, Thargoids and Griefers. It's time for this year's McThargoids draw. As we are at Miller Depot, and this is a new McThargoids, we have a very special prize, a VI trip, VIP trip to Disneyland. Get my right arm right inside this hole and... Please, 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 I've ate nothing but McThargoids. I've got an arse that's been banned from 400 systems and, and tits that are distracting me from my job. A uh, Mr. Finn and Aaron um, Gerin. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. Ah. Yes, yes. Oh, God, yes. I'm off to Disneyland. Please. Attention. Will staff members of David Bruben please report to his office immediately? Thank you. Oh, well, we're right there. Or oh, just as soon as we can unstack ourselves from this furniture. Back on Barnard Station, hands up, the station security officer has turned to guerrilla tactics to tackle the Thargoid menace. By which I assume he means the banana-eating jungle creature we call him now, as he gets his daily briefing. What 
the fuck keeps happening with my morning coffee, number two? What about your coffee? Hmm? I've put it on your desk at 8.30 precisely ever since I've worked here. Just like it states in my contract, sir. I like my coffee how I like my women, number two. Roasted for hours, <clears throat> roughly grinded and covered in scalding hot water. Oh, and a biscuit. No, you idiot. Black as a white opal, strong enough to slap you into another dimension. Right, report, number two. Uh, the sticky substance has penetrated two scientists. They're missing, presumed dead or pregnant. Maintenance Bob. He got out, but not before giving birth to eight children. We're still not sure how this happened. I heard the surgeon washed his hands, though. Okay, we keep disrupting... Uh, okay, we keep disrupting Thark as much as we can. We also need to find out what this substance is and find a way of delivering a sample to the galaxy. Back on Miller Depot, having no docking to perform, Richard Swallow and Sean Is Willy, is that really his name? Sean Is Willy have arrived early at David Brubin's office. We join Richard as he discusses major personal issues with Sean. Is that whose name? Sean, would you say I have big ears? Well, not if I compare them to a centaur or a centipotamus. That animal has ten foot ears. And a hundred of them. Even if you have big ears, that doesn't help you with docking control, does it? I know, you can pin them on your large belly. Oh, great. So now you think I'm a fat bastard too? Have you tried using abrasion blasters on it? What's that you're fingering, anyway? Serious salad? Ugh, that thing's probably been in storage since 3301. Where's the super thug you've been telling me about all morning? Ah, uh, mate told me no more thug or super thugs. So, any chance you could nip to the thuggy queen for me? Couple of credits in for, for you. Please. Uh, thuggy queen may would absolutely murder me. Ten credits and I'll get you a double cheese, go cheese goid meal. Ten credits? Might as well take the risk myself. And another ten not to tell May. Plus, I've got to get back before David notices I'm gone. Oh, come on. You don't even notice his own hands. Fine, fine. Take my card, get yourself something, I might as well feel completely mugged. Oh, uh, uh, and if David asks uh, why I'm away, tell him I'm releasing chaff. <laughs> Sean has left Richard on his own, but slowly the office starts to fill with the rest of the team. Richard is wondering what is taking Sean so long when, Richard arri when David arrives. Right, peasants. As I'm no doubt you're aware, well, some of you are aware, this is an unusual station. The temporary jobs the Federation so kindly gave us after the incident expire at the next tick. They want us to fly a ship through Thargoid-infested space and retake the station. Wow, that there sounds like a Special Forces mission. What ship have they given us? A right hope it's a Corvette. I've always wanted to go in one of them. It's a little smaller than a Corvette. As a python, then, that's a good ship to get in there and for a bit of pew pew and. No, it's a hauler. And, and maybe. It's tiny and navigable. Uh, how about even a furry lance? I hang on, did you say a hauler? Yeah, I thought I heard Michelle say hauler. Only I couldn't, I couldn't make it out of the smelly twat sat next to me. Or maybe a belly with muffling sounds. Oh, <coughs> Michelle, pass me a mug, size four, with the inverted handle. Mug! 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 I think the fat one is starting to leak from the eyes. Well, the other one is leaking from the anal regions. Right, where was I? Yeah, mission to retake the station from the Thargoids in the holler. Any objections? The dockers of Barnard Station listen intently as David stands over them, mug in hand, breaking several of them on the map in the process of revealing his plans. Sean is Willie, is still nowhere to be seen. Uh, there it is there. Right, I've got your double cheeseburger, Richard. What, what are you doing down there? Oh, uh, hi, David. Um, uh, sorry, I was just uh, creating some bio-waste. Ah, oh, Sean. Nice to see you back after blazing your own trail. Oh, is that a Thargy Queen? Don't mind if I do. Ah, oh, this is a tasty burger, Michelle. And a uh, drink? Lovely. Michelle, you ever had a Thargy slurp? Do you want to suck at my tentacle, Michelle? 
No, I'm not horny. I'm hungry. Your Highness. I told you. Everyone has to be here immediately. No fucking exceptions. Why don't you tell Michelle where you really were and we can get on with things. Oh, just for a second there, I thought you'd gone insane. Yeah, I, I just nipped a Fargy Queen for a bit. Yeah, take away coffee. That fucking burns. No, 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 no. Not the whole of your pie. Mm, awfully sorry. Did I scold your nuts off there? You were saying something about Fargy Queen? Oh, you'd finished. Well, then allow me to continue. Do you see this mug? Uh, yes. Yeah. Good, good. We're getting somewhere. Now, can you touch your toes? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit, sorry. That's right. Good. Yeah. Yeah, Sean, Sean. Sean, Sean. Can you touch your toes? Yeah, sorry, I've only just got this. Oh, yeah, I can do that watch. Oh, yeah, I can do that watch. Hey, hey, yeah, uh, you don't have to do that. Oh, no. no. I think that's as far as it's going to go up there, your forcefulness. No, I just don't want it coming back out, Michelle. I like to keep the galaxy tidy. Any other objections or excuses? Right. Well, you can all fuck off then. <clears throat> Sorry. Blaze your own trail. Meanwhile, back on Barnard Station, Hans Up is readying his privates. <laughs> However, his lack of good working privates is starting to show. They have, however small, put up a bold effort in the last few weeks. We join Hans Up trying to fluff up his, fluff up his drooping privates. Sorry. <laughs> drooping privates. I can't read it. Pay attention, everyone. As you are aware, the central pole in the station is a huge transmitter marked Poland on your map. There are also many smaller transmission poles. At 1939 hours, we will invade the Poland. I've heard the Thargoids are using that area as living space, sir. How do you plan to get in there? There is a little bit of land further on out of Thargoid sight. We will invade from there to make things easy, number two. I have labeled this area on your map as the Furterland. We have to destroy the main transmitter and capture as many transmission poles as we can, number two, and blow up the rest. Then we can isolate Targi. Right. So we start at the further land, push into pole land, destroy the center of pole land, take the remaining poles to the further land, and what poles we can't use, we destroy. This is correct, number two. So, when I give the word, you push my privates into the pole. <laughs> so, you will come from the South Pole. So, I have named you Unit DSS. And uh, my own unit from the North side will be named Nordsis. Sounds like an excellent plan, sir. If not familiar from somewhere in history. How will I know it's time to attack? I will hold my hand and arm out like this. <laughs> At 45 degrees angle and scream, oh, hit them! <laughs> David and his staff have boarded the hauler and have almost squeezed themselves into the dinky economy cabins. Jack Sofalot and Richard Swallow are annoyed at having to share a cabin. You seen the side of this cabin? How am I supposed to get in there? Don't you down and pour you in. Speaking of which... Jesus Christ, my eyes are burning out my face. I haven't cried so much this since I volunteered to be Finn's test subject in a cavity search for beginners, my lovers. You brought a bloody super guy, didn't you? Not that bad. Uh, oh, but this might be... Oh, run. oh, my God, you boys, it smells just like Commander Simu. With? <laughs> what do you mean with... Well, you usually stay with a touch of leopard armpits or John Stabler's murking or skip that cum sock. So, with... Oh, no, I was done. That's exactly what it smells like. <laughs> sorry, sorry. 
the overpacked hauler has made its jump to supercruise, containing all the staff. Nerves are on edge as they negotiate the Thargoid-infested space lanes. David, with his limited flight experience, has taken over the controls. I swear, this fucking thing has forgotten all the settings I programmed into it the other day, Michelle. Some update this morning? I think it's in Guardian and I don't speak left wing. Ah, let me have a look. Your pilotness. I used to date an eye doctor years ago. He told me I have excellent vision. An eye doctor? We, oui, your highness. Wait a second. He loved to test me. He used to start with one finger, then two. Is it better with or without? He used to continue until my vision went blurry. We split up after he came to visit me one day and ran into Finn Guerin in customs. How do I change modes? Button! Wait, your eagleness. That's the emergency stop. But ah! Hey up, David, Michelle. Uh, can someone remove Fen from the arse? <laughs> it's dark in here. I'll just find me lighter. It's round here somewhere. Don't you fucking dare. I was taking a shit. I've been violated. Warning. Thygoid threat detected. Your Highness. I think we're being attacked. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, get us out of here. Um, button. Your randomness. That's the hyperspace button there. Oh, what did I just press? Well, given that my nipples have gone like bullets, I'd say the heat sink, your gloriousness. Hey, we asses, tighten, tighten up, turn on the heat in here. I can't breathe. I think I'm going to pass out. This is amazing. <laughs> but me, it's cold in here. On the plus side, it seems to have sucked out Sean's farts, so I can live with it. I think I found me lighter. No! Oh! <coughs> Boom. <coughs> Boom. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Yes. Boom. <laughs> yes. <coughs> Uh, uh, fire! Fire! Mug! Mug water! Mug! Water! Michelle! Why is it fizzing at me? Well, there goes Canopy. And oh, oh, there goes... Oh, no, wait, there's Fen. No, wait, he's all on by the skin of my arse. <laughs> uh, louder, food. What the fuck was that? It appears we've set the Thargoids on fire. According to the computer... It was a large methane explosion. I think we just ignited Sean's vented gas. Your Majesty. Thargoid threat destroyed. Ah, I love the smell of fried calamari. It's the smell of cleanliness. All right, Michelle, I need a planet we can pull into for repairs. In the meantime, keep your rim locks on. I've been wearing mine since Sean dropped that gas giant. There is one called Cook, only a few minutes in supercruise. Your mugginess. I've set a course and engaged the supercruise assist. Back on Barnard Station, Hans Up and his privates have begun their invasion of the pole land. However, enemy presence is a lot heavier than first thought. We join Hans Up and his number two in quite a bit of number two. Hi, guys. Two clicks to the east, sir. There's two of them? No, they're two clicks away, sir. Number two, I don't need to know their musical ability. I need to know where they are and how many. Well, there's shitloads of them, and they're probing my anus, sir. Shit, surprise attack! Run away! Run away! <laughs> Permission to waddle away, sir. I think I'm beyond running. Number two, you appear to be leaking from the rear. It looks like a frothy cappuccino. Oh, sir, I, I can't feel my legs. Uh, Oh, everything is so sticky. Help, help. I'm, I'm stuck to the floor. Uh, carry on without me. Uh, so I don't think I can make it. That's the first good idea you ever had, number two. Come here. Hang on, hang on. This, this is the point where you say we don't ha leave anyone behind and make a valiant attempt to save my life, sir. Well, 
I'm not a marine, and you are fucking number two in more ways than one. Now we're just going to move on. Not even a rousing speech about how you will avenge my death or how well I served? I'm not going to spread bullshit through my privates, number two. So that's it then. Goodbye. See you later. And wait for me to die. Who said anything about waiting, number two? Number three, congratulations. You have been field promoted to number two. Take his stripes and follow me. Number three reporting, sir. Sorry, number two now, sir. Move this body out of my sight. It's attracting the uh, Targoids. Right away, sir. Um, I don't think he's actually dead, sir. Uh, don't bother me with frivolous details, number two. Punch him down the fucking docking bay. He's stuck fast, sir. <laughs> he's not moving anywhere. There's less movement than a 21st century government. I've taken a load of his salty froth for analysis, sir. David and his crew of misfits and madmen have arrived on Planet Cook, an airless pleasure world 30, 34 light seconds from Barnard Star. Home to several theme parks, which visitors have commented as having less atmosphere than the airless planet. Your Majesty, I really don't think we can park here. It says it is for disabled pilots only. Well, I can't even see anyone here with fucking space legs. All right, everyone, you've got 30 minutes whilst we fix this canopy. Fuck off! Uh, I mean, go blaze your own trail. Uh, and 30 minutes, not a single nanosecond longer. What is this place, anyway? Yee! It, oh, look, it's Nicky Moist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, is this, is this Disneyland? That doesn't look like anyone's been here in years. Check out my large moist nuts, me lovers. This must have been a gift shop, Baba. Look, it's a jerk tight. Oh, I always, <laughs> oh, I always wanted jerk light. You must jerk it a bit, and the special sauce inside glows. Look, this one is Sally Squirt, and we have Davina Dong, Terry Testicle, and Barry Bollock. Oh, in it. Oh, and it's that rare Mary Hunt. I've not seen a Mary Hunt in years. Oh, God, it's, it's broken the sauce. It just went all over my face. Yeah, they tended to do that if you overjerked them. What the fuck is that? What? It looks like a lot of posters in McThargoids. It's a fucking Thargoid. Do something. Like what, Baba? Take it to go blaze its own trail? I don't know. Throw something at it. Like, like this glowy shape. Smash. <laughs> no, that was me protocom. What, what the fuck is protocom? Years ago, Disneyland's founder, uh, Wank Wisley, asked that his uh, seed could be frozen in Disneyland so that one day he could be cloned should the laws ever change. This is the protocom. It's a cloning tool. Well, I bet he thought he'd never go out in a random act of Thargoid Bukaki. <laughs> and it's worrying that I know how you say that and you don't. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I can't even read it. <laughs> so, as some owners spunky remains, whoop, whoop, do we have bigger problems than some prehistoric jizz? Hang on, hang on. What's that Thargoid doing? He's splitting in two. That's what the protocom does. It takes one thing and produces an identical copy. Great. So now we have two Thargoids. Not exactly. We have one Thargoid and one zombie Thargoid. Who are? Zombie Thargoid. I think it's looking for a spudding, Baba. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that one. Grown. Click, click, click. Thargoid grown? Thargoid just groaned. Grown. Yeah. Well, the process kills most of the brain cells of the original subject. They tested it in Colonia at first, but they couldn't tell uh, which one was which. It's all there in the history of jizz. Shouldn't we blaze our own trail out of here? David and Michelle have finished the canopy repairs and are waiting for the crew. 
David, however, is getting very angry with the punctuality of his team. I knew it was a mistake letting them fuck off, uh, Blazer. Yeah, I swear, when they turn up, I'll prove you can fit six fighters inside of an ass. I think I see Doug get out. He's walking a bit funny. Uh, no, brains. don't I need you. Brains. <laughs> don't you take that tone with me. I said, thirty bloody. I said thirty bloody minutes and it's been forty-five. Where the fucking rest of you? It was what he is. That's cool. <laughs> More break. Oh, drunk are we? Found the Centauri Megagen, have we? Well, you're not a hunting tracker, Michelle. Pass me a, a hay mug. I'm not a fucking late night kebab. Get off my jumper, you stretching it. No, no, it's unraveling. Michelle, Michelle, he's sucking my jumper up like spaghetti. <laughs> oh, he wants a meatball now. <laughs> oh, still, I've got it. It's hard old still when someone is sucking you off through a jumper. I'm getting hungry now. <laughs> flash, flash, flash. <laughs> <laughs> It does say fire extinguisher spray. Ah, that should hold him. <laughs> Have to try. <laughs> what an aisling is that shape? Doncum thermal glue. Sticks anything to anything instantly forever. It's... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> That was right. No, I can't see the bloody thing. <laughs> Jesus. Don't come thermal glue sticks anything to anything instantly forever. It's spanned in many systems. After one concubine uh, managed to get some in his mouth and he became the emperor's Siamese twin. I found it as we passed the Museum of Jizz. So if that sticky goop is zombie dog... What the hell happened to the real one? Zombie Doug? Have you been at the onion head again? Never mind. Where's the bloody dog is? Oh, my fucking jumper, you pleb. This shit's never coming out in a hand wash at 40 degrees. Tell you something. The toilets around here need some servicing. Sean's been in this shit one for hours now. And I had to use the station. The station's cubicle. Oh. Three. Three. Uh, so I was station three. cubicle three. Like it was shitting into Finn's toilet. Just a sorry white mass of oddly sticking. Two. 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 <laughs> ah! Uh, people, there's something strange coming from that cubicle. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Sentient? It Sentient, Sentient turds. turds. They're attacking! Well, this planet has literally gone to shit. After some worrying moments, the crew make it back to the hauler to find a bewildered-looking Richard Swallow and May Swallow, wondering what took everyone so long and why David is, uh, has arrived half-naked. Hans Sup and his new number two have pushed the privates hard into the pole land, but has left them feeling quite depleted. We have pushed... Uh, we have forced the Tiger to retreat at the cost of most of my privates. But we have captured the Poland and we've received our first messages in weeks. I have good news and bad news. The good news is the Federation have sent a ship to rescue us. The bad news is it contains the most useless idiots in the galaxy. The Lave Radio Sidewinder? No, not those special idiots, number two. The staff of Bernard Stur. We're fucked then, sir. The other news is uh, this sticky stuff. We have to be very careful, number two, as you saw with my number two earlier. According to Federation scientists, it's Thargoid Gis. It says, whatever you do, do not ingest it. Chemically, it's the same as Duncan glue. Ah, that must be why I'm feeling constipated. <laughs> What are you fucking babbling about, number two? The station is fucked. We're all going to be used like a monkey uses a frog once the Thargoids get hold of us. All I'm saying is, maybe I shouldn't have licked the Thargoids. 
Does it count if I swallowed but didn't know? Yes, yes, it does count, number two. <laughs> but we have more pressing concerns. We're going to have to pull out of the Poland. I just don't have the privates to hold it anymore. We're going to have to rely on David and the crew to come to our eat. I'll withdraw the privates now, sir. They have nothing left to give. Well, form up for a last stand in the docking bay. I want to go out fighting, number two. I I'm fighting one right now, sir. <laughs> Back on the hauler, and with a repaired canopy, our motley crew of reprobates make their way to the station, although they're starting to have some unexpected issues. Have you seen this fuel gauge, Michelle? It's going down faster than a hot and orbital live stream. Uh, this rate will be out of fuel. That didn't go well, did it? And uh, this rate will be out of fuel. Uh, three seconds from the station. It says we're gaining weight. The jump range is plummeting. It's starting to smell like Sean in here. Just a second. Where is Sean? In the, he's in the, uh, he's in the ship's toilet. He told me he was, he was releasing chaff about four hours ago. I tried to get in there earlier, you know, to have some uh, relaxation time with me copy of Harry Hagholes. He's still in there. <laughs> knock, knock, knock. Hey, Sean, how's it going in there? They're missing out all the fun. Serves him right for going to Thargy Queen. And don't think I don't know what you did, Richard Swallow. If we survive the, this horror story, you're on McThargan's diet food cartridge for a year. I warned you all about Thargy Queen. It'll make your insides rotten. Kill me, please. I've spent the last fuck knows how long shitting out someone else's shit. Oh, blimey, I... I think this one belongs to Richard. You really need more fibre. Oh, I now can't see spells palsy. Yeah. Done it. Oh, yeah. Well, okay. <coughs> yeah, I know you've popped. <coughs> Did you... Yeah. Ah. Did you hit a button, Michelle? You've suddenly gained 200 kilometres a second at half a tank of fuel. No. You're a fantasticness, but you might want to slow down for the safe disengage. Disengage? We're millions of meters from the station, Michelle. Well, we were. Your speediness. It looks like... Something, wait a moment. Ah. It looks like we hit shite speed back there. Uh, I thought Supercruise Assist was designed to stop shooting past the station. Says here we've missed it by some distance. Stupid loose, this Federation software. Uh, I'll go back into Super Cruise. I think boosting from here might be safer. It's only 200 kilometers, and the Thargoids will be expecting us to drop closer. Ah, oh, yes, well, it's all part of my genius plan, Michelle. Well done for figuring that out. Hans Up has formed his privates into neat rows in the docking bay. The Thargoid threat seems to have multiplied in the last few hours. However, at the back of the station is an unlikely ally who is looking to clean up a Thargoid mess. We have before us an ordeal of the most Thargoidness kind. We have before us many, many dirt-laden floors of struggle and sickness. You ask what we are going to do here? I say it is to clean this station of Thargoid and Thargoid kind by mop by cloth, by broom, and all, with all our might, with all our strength that polish and wax can clean with, to dust a station against a monstrosity, a monstrosity tyranny right under his nose. You ask, what is our aim? I can answer that in one word. It is cleanliness. Cleanliness at all costs. Cleanliness in spite of all Thargoids. Cleanliness, however sticky and filthy ridden the docking bay is. Tally-ho to the mops. I say, are we using the squeegee head or the easy rinse? I think the squeegee. Right on my command, everyone. Over the top. <whistles> ah! I caught my nads in the ladder. Leave me behind. I'm going to be out for hours. Oh, God, that stings. Right, onwards, chaps. Clean... Cleaning formation Zulu, I want wall-to-wall -wall squeegees, mops to the rear and buffers to the flanks. 
What the fuck is going on down there, number two? Number two? Number two? Stop lying down on the job and get that ridiculous fake tan off your face. Oh, great. Now he's farting on the duty. That's a tree of the credit fine. Um, I think he's dead, sir. <laughs> I, oh, I'm number 39, and there's only six of us left, sir. It's, it's over, sir. You all have to surrender. We've only got one working laser, and number 94 is oozing like a big bean field m meat grinder. Me? Give up? Never surrender, number two. Fuck that. If you need me, I'll be in space, breathing the vacuum. Listen, you little ginger winger. <laughs> really? I'm going to do your face what Kate Russell did to Lutrich. Come back here. Wait, what's that sound? It's a ship. We're safe, number. Uh, who the fuck are you? Uh, 3,266, sir. Damn, my privates have been decimated. Chaps, we're taking a pounding. So hard my, a my anal beads have started jiggling. I may be getting a little overexcited. Here, tally-ho. <laughs> Is that fucking Lou Brachet? He's walking like he needs a shit. No, he's taken one. <laughs> What's he, what is he doing? Uh, what? What's he doing them damn to... What's he doing to those damn tummies? What's he doing to those damn tummies? What's he doing to those damn tummies? Sorry. The battle for Barnard Station is raging. Lou Brochet and his team of maintenance staff have cleaned out much of the station. Hans Up has gone mental with his truncheon and a pile of dead Thargoids is all around him. Has anyone noticed how dark it's got in here? I can barely see what's going on. Actually, literally. <laughs> Is that a McThargoid's mug on that desk? Right, mugs. No, not you. Uh, not you lot. My bag of mugs. Turn each. I've got to take on Thargy McTharg tentacle twat with your mug. No, oh, this is no ordinary mug. Tell him, Michelle. This mug has been engineered by Guardian Technology. It's now so salty, it'll dissolve any Thargoid it touches. It's like salt to an earth slug. Shouldn't we have just sprayed mugs all over them like chaff? Mm. Or we could fill the chaff with mugs and launch them at them that way. Yeah, that's a, a much better idea I had there. The idea of a genius. Your royalness. Oi! Right, get that launcher filled with mugs and we need something to launch them. None of these buttons do anything useful. We could try the voice, Commander. Your Empressness. Voice? Yes, yeah, right. I can do that. Mug! Record that, Michelle. I suggest we don't use mug. You... Yes. Again? Yeah, mug, mug. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You tend to accidentally say it from time to time. Shall we say your mugginess? Yes, well, it's such a great word, mug, <laughs> mug. Well, w what do you suggest then? Something made up, your vocalness. Let me think. Well, the salt will dry out the Thargoids. So how about dry Thargies? Dry Thargies? Uh, I can remember that. I can remember that. Okay, okay, we're coming into the station. Now, right, um, uh, this button, I think. Flight assist off. What the feck is happening here? We're drifted more than a presidential excuse. Oh, we're out of the ship. Button! Button! Oh, it must be the same one. Ah, dry thoggies! Dry thoggies! We're firing mugs indiscriminately. I think we just wiped out Lou Brochet and his maintenance staff. Yep, Lou's dead. I can tell his beads are out. <laughs> there goes the air traffic control tower. Uh, dry thargies! Dry thargies! David Taller, bouncing around the bay whilst mugs shoot out everywhere, is having a negative effect on morale for the last remaining private of Hans Sup. He continues to fight the Thargoid menace. The station is in serious need of repair as he truncheons down everything in sight. Come on, you thuggy scum! Number two? Number two? Oh, God, my truncheon is gone! Hand to hand with the Thargoids. Here goes! 
No, no, that's not fair. Two tentacles only. Fight me like a man. No, no, don't bugger me like a man. Ah! <laughs> right. I've turned the flight assist back on. Your gloriousness. I suggest we land and fight them from the ground. Yeah, before we wipe out any more of our side. Luckily, it seems Roger is as a reserve. He's rallying them from the damn docket bay. Right, landing gear, landing gear. Uh, what does this do? Cargo scoop deployed. Ah! <laughs> ah! Sorry about that. <laughs> What the fuck happened there? <laughs> I think you just ejected all cargo. Your eagerness. Was that flying down the docking bay? I believe that is the restaurant owner known as May Swallow. Uh, what's she doing out there? I'd say mm, 150 meters a second. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I think she's going to be okay. I know. Is, is that a Thargoid? I think it's Roger from Maintenance. He's got tangled up with his squeegee, your highness. He's bouncing around the docking bay like Finn's wrist during zero-g gymnastics. <laughs> what happened to the other plebs? Close the bloody cargo bay. I've not had this much for I mean, not since I masturbated on that 9G world. Closing the cargo bay. Oh, okay. Landing gear must be this. This one! Aim for the pad! And, and, and slowly down! Crash. Um, back a bit. <laughs> oh, um, uh, left, right, 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 no, 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 left, left, up, up, um, up. <laughs> that must be it. Yep. <laughs> May Swallow's bouncing bomb has removed several hundred Thargoids, and David's mug-breathing mug hauler attack has left the station in a severe state of ruin. No, he's still not docked, so in order to preserve your and my time, we'll skip ahead nine minutes later. Uh, just a little bit more. I've got, I've got one blue line down, down, down. No, 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 up, 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 left, Le left. No, 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 right, right, right. Oh, right now. Oh. May I make a suggestion? You're talking this. Just, just going to press this button. Landing gear deployed. Docking successful. I did that within 30 seconds left. <laughs> hey, that's a new personal best. <laughs> Looks like we're on our own. Your Olympicness. I can't see it, May, from here. The maintenance staff have been wiped out. Hans is what? Hans, what does that say? It, it should be come after Hans. Hans is well from here. That doesn't work even with a comma. Hans is well from here. He looks like ah, I see two commas. Hans <laughs> is mm, well from here. He looks like a compost heap covered in glue. So probably dead. It's a tragedy, your majesty. Well, we need to kill the queen. I know, Thargoids take the queen out and then it'll be, then I'll be king and I'll be in charge uh, again. It'll be glorious, your illustriousness. Right, everyone follow me. And anyone who wants to follow me, Lev, no, anyone who wants to follow me, follow me. I'll do. Can I try that again? Yeah, please. Okay. Uh, right, everyone, follow me. And anyone who wants to live, follow me. 
And if I was a queen, I'd be in my office. To my office! Quick, down here. Another back passage. Are you sure about this? We'll all be dead in the air after Commander Odie does a pun in ten minutes anyway. <laughs> right, you lot. Yeah, you lot? Um, it appears it's just me and you. Your eagerness. Why, those little shits. When I get my hands on them, I'm going to insert mugs into them until I can see the handles poking out of their ears. David and Michelle make their way down the docking bay. However, the path is blocked by what appears, what looks like a thousand fish tanks. <laughs> you fell right into my trap, Brubin. Mm, Chris Bobberts, I might have guessed you were behind all this. Yes, the protocom is all mine. I invented it, not Disney, to double the features of my station, but the features became more intelligent than the people making them. I sold it to Disney, but now the Thargoids have it. You fool! They will kill us all! The Federation will make you swing for this, Bobberts. And not if I kill you first. For some reason, they were really interested in your death. You're surrounded. You're on your own. Give up! Admit it. I have the better station. And you can get to Colonia. Mm, get to Colonia? Did you hear that, Michelle? He just used the worst insult in the galaxy. Well, I'm not having that. Well, it's not like you have a choice. You're surrounded, Brubin. Give up now, and maybe I'll let you go in an escape pod. Well, that would be nice. But I'm going to take off now and thrust. I hope you've made yourself comfortable. Not too wet in here with all this sticky mess. No, it's quite dry. Hey, what's that outside the window? Thargies! That's not Thargies, that's a... Oh! You killed him with mugs. <laughs> Your unbreakableness. I always knew I would. Why do you think I'm here, fucking peasant? I love you. What? Um... Did you say you loved me? Uh, they told me on your contract if you said that it was over. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to return you to secretaries for you. No, it can't be. Your gloriousness, I can't, I... What are you going to do, eh? What are you going to do? Ah, get off my jumper! You'll stretch the sleeves! Oh, I'll just put this on, you da You strangling me! I'm sorry, <laughs> so sorry. Your purpleness. I can't... What have I done? I've killed him. <laughs> What's going on here? We've heard screams and mugs. Is is that David? <laughs> yes, it's you. Shit. She's a zombie. The Thargoids must have got her. To, uh, she killed a David. Shit, well, it won't matter. The real Michelle will be round here somewhere to shoot her. I think. I kind of need a gunshot. Bang. <laughs> Doug. This room is clear. No queen in here. Have to move on. It's got to be in customs then. That's the only place we haven't looked. Come on. Hey, look over there. It's that May Swallow. I think it is. She must have landed here. That's who get off to customs. I'll catch up with you. I can deal with this. Don't take too long. This place is still crawling with Sargoids. I'm just going to help lovely May here. Maybe I'll take two minutes, tops. And can you stop moving those things? I can't even see anything now. It'll t there it is. It'll take two minutes, tops, and it might get me loads of brownie points. You never know. Hey, up, May. Ah! Yeah. You're, you're up. Oh, God. Oh, that's stupid, Davy. Hey, well, let's get you right. Oh, well. Oh, that's one way you thank me. Uh, uh, oh, that's a, that's a bit hard. 
Ah, oh, oh, my head, that's me, my, my brain. That me. Oh, uh, what? I was asleep there and a big sausage came into my dream. Hang on, is that Jack Sofalot? Jack Sofalot or no? It happened again. Ah! Jack! Jack, oh, I've got to get out of here. Oh, I can't move him. I'll, I'll get Betty to move him to the McThargoids later and run him through the grinder. Customs, look, there's the Queen's nest. It looks like a giant beehive. How are we gonna get how are we gonna get in there, my lovers? It's surrounded. Richard I know. Me and Sean. I know, me and Sean have been here for hours. Oh, oh, golly, I'm out of breath, Jack. I didn't make it. What? Jack got caught by far, guys? Not quite. I know. How can I put it? Give him head. Oh, not again. Well, this day just gets better and better. Maybe I can squeeze another fart out. Too dangerous. We'd take out the whole station. Well, what do you suggest? We've got about ten minutes before Fargy goes probing, and pardon me for not wanting a retro patches that looks like Tagatharia A. If I can get into the hive, I can rip out the connectors and the Thargoids will lose their queen. How are you going to do that? It's going to take all my skill as a customs officer, but I'm going to have to fist the hive until I can find out the off switch. What can we do? Distract the Thargoids. What do you suggest? Could we come over here? Um, oh, well, that worked. I was being sarcastic. No, 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 no. You stay away with that tentacle. That's exit only. Someone help him. They're buggering my husband. Actually, that reminds me of our wedding night. It's going deeper than a 3 a.m. special op shot. I'll save you, Richard. Mug, mug, mug! Keep them busy, I've got this. They're busy combining Richard and me into a May-Dick combo. I don't think they've been that sticky since Betty accidentally gave a customer a good squirt in a coffee, my lover. No, oh, nearly there. Just reach this McThargoid straw. Kill my husband, you eight tentacled freak. Ah! Oh, McThargoid saw straight through that Thargoid's heart. We might get her out of this. No, the Thargoid has fallen on top of me and Richard and crushed them to death. You mean it's just us? I need more time, Doug. What's the point, Baba? They're all dead, apart from you and me and Sean. You and Finn. You're still alive, aren't you? Oh, tentacle through the stomach. Yeah. I can see that being a problem, my lover. Wait, wait, I've got one last... So, me and you, Baba. Me and you. There's a hive. It's closing. I can't pull me in by the fist. Pull me off, Doug. Pull me off. I'm trying. I'm tugging as hard as I can. Pull harder, pull harder. Pull Come on, Finn. Hard. Come on, Finn. No, no, no. Oh, I can't hold you anymore. The fart. Use the fart, Doug. I'll, I'll, never, I'll never get out, Baba. You can do it, Doug. Save humanity. Destroy the station. Uh, I, I, I. You can. Finn. 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 I can. I can't. I. I how, Baba? How? Finn's lighter. Well, goodbye, cruel galaxy. You've been listening to Dockers. Please give a large round of applause to the cast and the writer. Or not. <laughs> no, don't bother. Don't bother. Please boo Grant Walcott as he attempts to take credit for the entire show. Now go away and think about what you've done here. Docos was created using assets and imagery using from Elite Dangerous. Really? Imagery? Where? The only image I have now is going to need treatment with a bleach enema. 
with the permission of Frontier Development's PLC, I'm sure that isn't quite what they meant by non-commercial purposes. It is not endorsed by the... Crikey, what does even that say? It, it is not endorsed by, nor reflects, the opinions of Frontier Developments. Well, that we kind of know. I mean, we, I mean, one of them holds the same views, and no employee of Frontier was involved, mainly because, well, they know better. No one was harmed in the making of it, though we did try our hardest. I mean, we, I can see several of them already, self-harmed or about to be burying us all, buying us all a few drinks. No, wait, what do you mean the check bounced? Thank you. Now, is anyone still out there? Because I can't see a thing. Thank you, those really of you who stayed. I really can't see a thing. Dockers was created using assets and imagery from Elite Dangerous, with the permission of Frontier Developments PLC for non-commercial purposes. It is not endorsed nor reflects the views or opinions of Frontier Developments, and no employee of Frontier Developments was involved in the making of it. All music used in this episode was royalty-free and licensed for use through Pond5.com. Tune in next time for more Dockers. <laughs> <laughs>